Griffin, you know what I need? Oh, yeah, I have an answer. Can we just do the Garfield one again? <laughs> it got, actually, that got a little gross for me. Not going to be able to do it for a few years. Well, this one isn't incredibly and accidentally related to that one. Uh, it's sent in by Yahoo Answers user question mark. Got to put names down, people. Got to know who sent them in. Uh, Got to cite them properly. It's asked by Yahoo Answers user XX Snails XX, who asks, is it possibly a cat likes aggressive petting? I know that sounds very weird, and you may have had weird thoughts, but in all seriousness, my Siamese cat is strange. <laughs> I can pet him gently or tickle him or rub his ears, head, chin, etc., and he just chills like it doesn't matter. If I pet him aggressively, put pressure on him, pull at him when I pet him, he'll start to purr like he's the happiest cat in the world. He'll start fights with me, bite me, claw me, and then flop over and love on me and start purring like I'm the best cat mom ever. Is it possible for a cat to like tough love? This little guy is evil. Ha ha. Hey, cat people. No, no, no. Is it possible that this cat just loves that rough stuff? Griffin. If people like rough stuff, I don't see why cats can't also like rough stuff. The problem with it is... Is that we already did a cat fucking question? That cats don't like... Cats don't have mouths. They can't tell you what they like and don't like, so you probably should assume the thing that isn't abusing them. Mm. Right? And Does I that... also have to assume when I hear that there might be cats that like rough stuff, that there are cats that like it super romantic. <laughs> 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 you light some candles, yeah. pour a glass of wine, tie off some smooth mm. mu- music. Hey, baby. And you, this cat, you just... this cat loves a, a warm, warm bath. Why don't you drop some salts, baby? Sometimes my cat and I will meet at an agreed upon location and pretend that we don't know each other. Mm. Hey, what you doing in this alley, girl? Damn. Mm. Why don't you come on home with me? Let me get you some warm milk, perhaps a flea bath. Hey, Damn. hey, baby, you uh, you want some pussy? Yo. <laughs> that's a little joke. I, yeah. That's a little joke I like to tell because I'm a sweet pussy. Yeah. I'm, I'm a sweet, <laughs> I'm a sweet pussy well. cat. I'm a straight shooter. Hey, you want some cottage, cottage cheese mixed, mixed up with peaches? Come on. I ain't, I ain't Siamese, but I would love to attach with your body. <laughs> what do you say? I'm just a little nasty tabby. Don't worry about it. Yo, that's a little bad girl. Hey, does anybody smell tuna? No, I smell, don't worry about your bag getting all Come ruffled. On, I'm a short hair breed. It's going to feel real nice <laughs> against your skin. Don't worry, baby. I've been declawed. No, te- Can you imagine? no telling marks in the morning over here. I'm just going to gently paw, gently massage your tummy. This is, this is a learned behavior I remember from trying to get milk out of my mother's sack. Mm. <laughs> my mother. Had to compete with four to five brothers and sisters. <laughs> Typically, spe- genetically speaking, it's a large, large litter. And don't worry about yeah. it. Hey, baby, I'm going to be dead in like seven years. Ain't no need to, <laughs> ain't no need to tie You're yourself not- down. You're not looking for something long term. Yeah, I dig that. I dig that. My lifespan is rapidly accelerating past your years of humans. Mm. Mm, baby, don't mess with the dogs. Ooh. Don't get down to dirty with the dogs. No, listen. Hey, I am so uncomfortable ahead, right ahead. now. Leave the canary's cage open, mm-hmm. baby. Oh, God. I want to name a little snack of Rudy after we, uh, well, you know. Meow. <laughs> okay, we gotta stop. <laughs> Okay. I, mean, I try. I want to. Be cool. I want to issue a public apology to anybody who was wearing headphones because that had to be the worst. I would have an ice pick jammed into my cortex because there had to be like thirty seconds in where there was like an inner monologue of, "Are they talking about? Fu-? No, there's no way. There's, there, no way the, that, there's at least still going. The creepiest part of it is there's uh, the worst part. I should say because the, the we did it. The worst part is that there's one man or woman who has just realized, like, well, this is the thing that turns me on. God damn God it. God damn it. I need to listen to the McElroy brothers do impressions of a, a, a human-voiced sexy cat. Yeah, it's somewhere between Red Dwarf and Red Light District. It's, somebody is, And there's weird. also somebody hoping that we do a voice impression for the cat that loves to just, like, just fuck. Just, like, Fuck. <laughs> If you want to do that, just go see Cats, the musical. Mm-hmm. That's what it's all about. Cats mm-hmm. love to fuck. Mr. Mistopheles loves to be. Cats, loves colon, DTF. Yeah. 
loves to be he loves to be choked. Oh God, let's end the show. Ugh. <laughs>